You know, I love it when something that I have been doing the same way for a long, long time turns out to be way less efficient than I thought it was. And there's a much better way to do it. And then I get to make a tutorial showing you guys the much better way. Well, okay, I like the part where I make the tutorial showing you guys the much better way, but I hate the part where you guys fill up my comment section saying, how dumb are you? Don't you know about this better way to do it? <clears throat> but that's a personal problem and I'm gonna deal with it with my therapist. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you a better way to update your SD card contents when you upgrade to a new version of OpenTX. I'm Joshua Bardwell and we're all gonna learn something today because I haven't ever tried this, but let's find out if it's better. If you're watching this, it's better because if it wasn't better, I wouldn't release the video. Here's the problem that we're going to try and solve today. Go to the OpenTX website. We're going to download the new version of OpenTX that's come out. OpenTX 2.3.14. Actually, I just flashed OpenTX 2.3.14 on this radio, but I haven't updated my SD card contents yet. And the way that I usually do that is I download the SD card contents. We go here to this folder. We find our radio. Mine is the OpenTX uh, TX16S. We download the zip file and then we open up the zip file and we just drag the zip file contents onto the SD card. But that's not great because to several reasons. Number one, it takes for freaking ever, especially if you plug in your radio and you go through the USB port on top of your radio, it takes for freaking ever because that's like a USB 2.0 connection. Maybe it's even a one point, I doubt that. It's super slow is the point. And the other problem is that if you have put anything on your SD card, like you've got custom widgets, custom images, custom sound files, custom uh, Lua scripts, and so forth. All that stuff gets wiped out and you have to manually set it up again. And there are ways to manually sort of manage that. But OpenTX Companion has a way of doing it automatically. And OpenTX Companion has a way of only sending over the files that have actually changed in which case you can save a lot of time. Let's see how that works. Now the utility that you guys are telling me to use is this synchronize SD utility. And you can actually pick any local folder and any radio folder uh, to synchronize. So if you want to, you can take the SD card out of the radio, put it into your USB card reader and do this same thing. And of course it'll be much faster, but not all radios have easily accessible SD cards like uh, the Tango 2 comes to mind. It's actually the SD card is literally inside the radio, although the Tango 2 doesn't run OpenTX, it runs FreedomTX, so that you couldn't use it with OpenTX Companion anyway, but I digress. So we're gonna see if this synchronized SD card tool can update the contents faster and more seamlessly than the old way I've been doing it. Uh, and with the radio turned on, I'll plug in USB. I'll choose USB storage. I'm sure you've seen this before. And I will get uh, some SD card drive, some USB drives popping up here. Uh, and the one I want is this, this one, which is my SD card contents. And it is USB drive M. Next, I'm gonna go file download. And for 2.3.14, I'm gonna hit download SD contents and it'll take me to this folder. And I wanna download the latest zip file there, 30038. So I'm gonna download this zip file, which is taking forever to download. And it's dumb because I actually already have a copy of it saved. So I'm not going to wait for eight minutes. I've downloaded the zip file and I put the zip file contents here in this backup folder on my hard drive. So then we go into OpenTX Companion and we'll do File, Synchronize SD. The local folder is going to be that backup folder on my hard drive where I put the zip file contents. Yeah, SD card. Boom. The radio folder is going to be USB drive M. And the big question that I'm interested in answering is how freaking long does this take? Because copying all those files would literally take like an hour over the USB interface. We're going to see if this goes much faster. It's going pretty quick. 
350 out of 2,500. It's about 20% of the way through. Oh, here we go. We updated some of the sound files. Um, by the way, there's a trick you can do. It's, it's too late for me, but there's a trick you can do, uh, which is to go into your SD card folder and under sounds, remove any of the language files that you are not using. In fact, hang on, let me abort here. Abort. Okay. Uh, yeah. Select all un deselect English and delete all the others. There we go. And now if I do start, it should, uh, it should go a lot faster. All right, it finished synchronizing and it took, well, I just still have to look down at the screen capture, but maybe five or 10 minutes, um, which is, you know, not too long, certainly way faster than if I had copied the whole SD card contents. But the real advantage is going to be that you can keep any like custom scripts, custom stuff that you've uh, put on your SD card and you don't need to manually worry about saving that stuff. The next thing you should do uh, after you're done watching this video is take your SD card out of your radio if you can or uh, plug your radio in and do it the slow way if you must. But take your whole SD card contents and put them on a folder on your hard drive and that will give you a backup and then you can synchronize the, whenever there's a new version of OpenTX, you can synchronize both to that backup folder and to your SD card so that your backup stays in sync and your SD card stays in sync and both of them get updated. And hopefully that'll be a little bit easier way of updating than the way that I've been showing how to do it for the longest freaking time. The other thing that I wonder, and we could probably take a look right now, it's probably, uh, let's go to USB drive M. Did, did it delete? No. So it didn't really synchronize, did it? Because I deleted these folders off my local copy that at the source of the synchronization and they're still here. And right now I think it's copying them back to my backup folder off my, yeah, it is. So it's not really a synchronization, is it? It's moving and copying new files, but a, a true synchronization would also delete stuff that had been deleted and that doesn't seem to be what it's doing. But I guess the OpenTX devs probably know what they're doing and um, maybe there's a good reason they're not doing a true sync. Regardless, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to everybody in the comments who said you should really give this a try. Um, it's not, it still has all of the, it's not a true sync. It's not truly synchronizing them. That's why I've stayed away from it for now, but I, it will keep, it will, it's faster than just copying the files over and it does keep any modified files that you've made. So I guess it's fine. I'd be flying. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Cuckoo Kaka, subscribe to my daddy.